Uh, he's one of their key guys, not just because of the point per game, but I also think his leadership. Let's see how Boston College handles the loss of him not being in the lineup. Here are the starters for Pat Sellers, and here's their top scorer. Alan Jean Rose goes to work, and with a right hand, he scores. He's the Fairfield transfer at 15 a game. Zachary around the screen. Off to the wing for McLaughlin. Coming up, maybe his best game of the season against NC State. Defensively, the issue in that game, though, for Boston College, missed free throws. Uh, they missed a lot of free throws in that game. Tough finish at the rim by Jaden Brown. Pat Sellers wants to play with some tempo today offensively. He tells his team if it's in rhythm, if it's there for you, go get it in transition. Post off the pick and roll with Zachary. That's a great block out that time by Central Connecticut on Quentin Post. Blocked by McClacton on Gene Rose. And Donald Hand Jr. comes in 13 in white along with Mason Madsen, 45 for BC. Jordan Jones on a step back, spun out after he bought 23 in the gray for Central Connecticut. Oh, look at the drop step from Post. Simple basketball. Post and the Eagles up a bucket early. So I'll just go with lower leg. Yep, and a guy who can score. So Madsen gets some more run, and he sticks a three, and that's an encouraging sign for the senior guard off the bench. He's the guy they have to get going. They're going to need his perimeter shooting. Central Connecticut has missed its last five shots until that tough one from Jordan Jones. And Coach Sellers and staff rave about Jones' tenacity right there. That's an aggressive move. Again, take the hit. Do you know this Jones kid? And of course, like any good friend, Larry Johnson did. I mean, I love hearing stories like that. A guy that starts off at the GT level. I always tell young players, you never know who is watching you in the gym. And there he is in attack mode again, answering Matson's bucket. Austin College is going to have to do a better job keeping Jones out of the paint. Matson hits another. And how about the instant offense from Mason? Matson off the bench without Harris. And avoid those paint touches from BC offensively. Post can step out. And he hits that as well. A 4 3 for the Eagles. As far as Austin College has limited those second chance opportunities. Jazz Kelly turns it over. Sweatman's off to the races, and Sweatman has it cleaned up by Jones. Hand off the screen, sticks it. That Earl Grant staff have to be pleased with. Uh, they're getting some really good looks off of great ball action. Yeah, that's five of eight from deep for a team hitting at 33% for the season. Try not to force it. Right now, he's getting good, uh, high percentage looks. Ellen Amos can't hit from Roslindell. Collegiate career for Donald Hand. Got that scare with the ankle Saturday. Lockton dumped it off to Amarni Mighty. You can't ask for a better set right here. Dribble drive off the pick and roll, and then an extra pass. It's 7-0 to wrap up the night. 1.5 to shoot. Here's Amos. Can't hit. Another deep jump shot is what Central Connecticut gets offensively. Zachary, quick first step, playing off two feet, floats it home. Coach Grant talks about Jaden Zachary. He's one of the better guards in the ACC. They've been unable to stop Boston College out of their man-to-man. Contested -man. three goes for Allen Jean Rose, and that was much needed for Central Connecticut. Brown hands it off to Jones. Bouncy guard with a tough step back. That's it on the hit ahead for Payne. Got Zachary with him. Good find and finish. Textbook transition offense in transition off of makes right here. You can't run it any better. Two on one, and that's a tough finish. Zachary back out for post. Moves it to Kelly on the corner. Strong with a floater that drops. Jones, another step back. And a long two is good. Jordan Jones had 15 in the win against Army. And 18 in that win Saturday against Holy Cross. Oh, good find. Strong to post. Shot clock at five for Rogers. Skips it. Gene Rose rises. And gets the friendly roll. Madsen wants another. He's got another. 
battling for it up court. Matson triggers again and comes up short. Jones runs. Attacking Kelly and finishing plus a foul. How about this first half from Jordan Jones? It's been impressive. In transition right here. He's got great body control that time again. Take the hit. Two minutes to go in the first half at Connie Forum. DC trying to get to six and three and respond from the loss to the Wolfpack. Nice move, Zachary. Six of 12 from D. They've got 10 assists on 16 made buckets. Good back cut, Zachary to the rim. Final five seconds, Zachary hits. Had something to say to the Blue Devils bench as well. Jones had 12. Alan Jean Rose, their top scorer, had nine. And then otherwise, Jaden Brown had just two points. And that was it for scoring. With some energy, if you have any chance whatsoever getting in this game, it's going to start with uh, the first five minutes of this second half. League Bay flashed, recovered, and scores. Opportunities where he can catch it and only need a dribbler. Too. Yeah, he's got a great frame. He's going to be a good player in the ACC for uh, Boston College and Earl. Their ability to knock down perimeter jumpers early on is taking Central Connecticut out of that zone. Brown scores and got fouled by McLaughlin. Good hands from Kellen Amos. Alik Bay, one dribble into a long two. Good start to the second half for Prince Alik Bay. Central Connecticut picked second in the Northeast Conference of the nine teams behind only Sacred Heart. Zachary had it blocked by Brown, but post follows. Jaden Zachary, one of the better steal guys uh, in the ACC. 123 steals uh, coming in. He can score it some. I think he's going to be effective scoring again this year in league play. Gene Rose tipped out by Zachary, and Roger saved it. Here's the cutter, Gene Rose, the hammer. His ability to step out on the three-point line, really, to me, is what makes him a matchup problem. Hand from the corner. And then on the other end, right here, again, continued excellent ball movement uh, by Boston College. Hand down. And, uh, no pun intended, hand make. Particularly when you're playing against a team like Boston College that's aggressive in the passing lanes. Those back doors are going to be there. Uh, they're faking them, and I think that's a big reason why. It is a very, very tough. Uh, they're a very tough team. Again, you have Quentin Post. We talked about it. He's putting up numbers that nobody is putting up in college basketball. Back to back wins. Again, they're just coming up against a Boston College opponent uh, that's coming off a tough home loss. You're trying to close out a game at home against a team that went to the NCAA tournament last year. You're trying to build your resume. And. You don't close the game That's out. That's good minutes here. He really has. And again, the guy coming off the bench in the rotation for Coach Earl Grant. And that's a beautiful move, uh, probably from being a team with one loss as opposed to three. BC fans don't need a rehashing on a three for Breland. At least three or four days worth to sleep on that one. Monte sweating and shoveled it for Jaden Brown, who goes spinning on mighty two. Kind of hanging around, chipping away, and continuing to play hard. He's got to be pleased uh, with how his team continues to fight through. Payne attacks. Has it blocked by Amos. Payne got it back, and he gets fouled. Trying to follow his own miss, and trying to save it on the baseline. Sweatman out ahead of the pack. Gene Rose to the cup. I think perimeter shooter shooting is going to be the key uh, for Boston College. Breland picks it from Strong and a hammer from Trey Breland. They both are. All right here, the steal by Breland and check the rim. And the coaching staff love uh, his energy. They say toughness, energy, and he's selfless. Uh, that's the key to his game. Played a really good game Saturday against Holy Cross. He's in high time, 12 points. And a season high 25 minutes. He attacks the boards there. But it's Payne who leads the Eagles. Lob up top, Alibe! The other end, I'm just going to call him Prince but with the hops. From Syracuse in action against Cornell. JMA Wireless Dome. And in the mid range, and he's got 14 matching a career high. It's a nice read coming off of that a ball screen. Again, doesn't force the action. He was patient and then showing really nice touch uh, with his mid-range game. 
Well, I like the pieces uh, that Central Connecticut has. Again, uh, in NAC play, uh, they're going to be really good as you take a look at a backdoor cut. And now conference action with four more of those, including tonight, so they get back into ACC play. Asa Madsen to the basket. Asa Madsen. Alan Jean Rose drives on a league bay and gets the roll. Chance in three for Alan Jean Rose. Alan Jean Rose is calling for it against the walk-on Abe Ataya. This is Brody Limerick out of the corner. The high praise for what the foundation uh, Dickie B has been able to do to raise awareness and funds uh, for cancer research. Amen to that. Jones, sweep reverse. Jackson swirls one out. Bench was ready to erupt within his first points in his collegiate debut. Final half minute, Freeland good from three, and that should do it here at County Forum. Uh, really, it was a phenomenal display by them. I think the ball movement, the balance on offense, uh, and then defensively, they really made it difficult uh, for Central Connecticut to get anything going uh, on the offensive side.